Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Students, in our previous lesson, we made a historical review of national development objectives and strategies of the Derg period. In today's lesson, we will discuss the National Development Plan in EPRDF government. The National Development Plans prepared during the EPRDF government are the Peace, Democracy and Development Program, the Sustainable Development and Poverty Reduction Program, SDPRP, the Plan for Accelerated and Sustained Development to End Poverty, PASTEP, the Growth and Transformation Plan, GTP. Let's start our lesson by explaining the five-year development program known as Peace, Democracy and Development Program. This program focused on the interrelationships among peace, democracy and development. The major goals and objectives of the program were poverty elevation through rapid economic growth, ensuring peace and security, people's participation in democratic governance, implementation of efficient education system and improvement of quality of education, development of a governance system that ensures social justice and implementation of a prevention-oriented healthcare system based on cooperation and participation of the private sector. Students, after the five-year development program, a new program that ran for three years, that is known from 1995, 96, and 97, was launched. This was the Sustainable Development and Poverty Reduction Program, abbreviated as SDPRP. The SDPRP was built on the following basic concepts. Agriculture Development Led Industrialization, ADLI, which envisaged agricultural development as engine of economic growth. Food Security, which refers to becoming self-sufficient in consumption. Decentralization and Empowerment, which refers to the sharing of power to lower levels of government. Capacity Building in the public and private sector, which refers to the streamlining of systems, organizations and human resources and reforms in both the justice system and the civil service. Students, the first year of the SDPRP was marked by a drought which led to an 11.6% fall in agricultural productivity, contributing to a 3.6 fall in gross domestic product. Because of this, the average economic growth for the three-year period was 5.5%. However, the country experienced 11.3% and 8.8% growth during the second and third years of SDPRP, respectively. Students, the other program in the past decade was the Plan for Accelerated and Sustained Development to End Poverty, abbreviated as PASDEP. The program covered the period from 1998 to 2002. It was built based on the directions of SDPRP. The economic goals of PASDEP were to build an economy which has a modern and productive agricultural sector with enhanced technology and an industrial sector that plays a leading role in the economy. To sustain economic development and secure social justice. And to increase per capita income of citizens so that it reaches at the level of those in middle income countries in the coming 20 years. With these goals, 
past step was implemented until 2010. In fact, during this program, the performance of agriculture and export sectors was less than expected. Unlike the agriculture and export sectors, it was observed that the country achieved good results in the road construction and energy sectors in past dip. The program was also affected by several factors, such as less donor support than expected, poor rainfall, and global financial crisis. Well, students, let's now see the recent five-year plan of Ethiopia. It is called the Growth and Transformation Plan, or the GTP. This plan is not discussed in your textbook. However, it is very important for you to know this current plan of Ethiopia. The following discussion about GTP is based on the 2010 publication of the Ministry of Finance and Economic Development of Ethiopia on the GTP. Before we discuss the GTP, I want you to write down Ethiopia's vision. You have two minutes to do this exercise individually. I hope you have written down Ethiopia's vision. Very good. Here is Ethiopia's national vision. As stated in the GTP, Ethiopia's vision is to become a country where democratic rule, good governance, and social justice reign upon the involvement and free will of its people, extricating itself from poverty to reach the level of middle income economy as of 2020 to 2023. Students, guided by the national vision, the government has clearly set objectives for the GTP. The objectives of the GTP are maintain at least an average real GDP growth rate of 11% and attain Millennium Development Goals. MDGs. Expand and ensure the qualities of education and health services and achieve the MDGs in the social sector. Establish suitable conditions for sustainable nation building through the creation of stable democratic and developmental state and ensure the sustainability of growth by realizing all the above objectives 
within a stable macroeconomic framework. Now, I want you to do the second activity. Individually, list the three key goals of the Plan for Accelerated and Sustained Development to End Poverty Program, or PASTIP. You have three minutes. Students, I hope you've enjoyed the exercise. Now, I'll list for you the three key goals of PASTIP. The three key goals of the plan were to build an economy which has a modern and productive agricultural sector with enhanced technology and an industrial sector that plays a leading role in the economy. To sustain economic development and secure social justice and to increase per capita income of citizens so that it reaches at the level of those in middle income countries in the coming 20 years. Let's now again do another exercise in groups with a student or two or three students sitting next to you discuss the main objectives of GTP and if these objectives can help to realize the vision guiding the GTP. You have 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Thank you. 
Students, I hope you had an interesting discussion. Now, let's see the objectives together. The objectives of the GTP are maintain at least an average real GDP growth rate of 11%. Expand and ensure the qualities of education and health services and achieve the MDGs in the social sector. Establish suitable conditions for sustainable nation building through the creation of a stable democratic and developmental state. And ensure the sustainability of growth by realizing all the above objectives within a stable macroeconomic framework. Students, in our lesson today, we have seen some recent development plans of EPRDF. Particularly, we discussed the five-year development program, the sustainable development and poverty reduction program, SDPRP, the plan for accelerated and sustained development, to End Poverty Program, PASDEP, and the current Growth and Transformation Plan, or the GTP. In the next lesson, you'll learn more about the National Development Plan in EPRDF. Until then, goodbye students, goodbye teacher.